enjoying your weekend. Right now it is 8.30 on a Saturday. I hope you guys are sleeping in. Um, I wanted to make this video for, or I wanted to make a few videos for you guys um, because I know some of us have joined the class late. I know that this um, whole digital platform is really new to everyone. Um, and it's been somewhat difficult to kind of answer everybody's questions online. And um, I know that some people were reaching out for some assistance, so I told them I would make this video. So um, that's what I'm doing. I am going to talk about our daily routine in class um, and just how you get started. So let's jump into it. There's really like three main points, um, three things that we do every single day. So we'll go through that. Um, so the first thing is, and actually I'm going to take you back to, to a pre-step, um, is just logging in. And I'm going to show you how I think the, what I think the best way to log in is. I know at this point you probably have a way, but I think I'm still getting some confusion from some students. So what I would encourage you guys to do is click on Clever on your Clever link. Um, and... Log in with your R2D2, your school information, sign saved. Um, just another thing, guys, I am on a Mac. Um, I They are similar enough. I don't think that will have confusion, but um, I will make sure to, when it's relevant, tell you the um, equivalent on a PC. Okay. So I just log into my Clever and I click on Canvas. Um, who do I want to use today? What class do I want to use today? I'm going to just select period five because you guys have been with me a long time. So you click on your class tile. It doesn't matter what period you're, I mean, click on the right period, but you're gonna click on your journalism um, tile. And the, so basically you log onto your computer, you go to Clever, and class is starting. Um, I know some of you guys actually tend to get to class really early, which is great. Um, and bell work's the first thing you can do. If you jump right into it, you can get through that part of class a lot faster and then um, continue on to hopefully uh, more exciting stuff and training for a lot of you guys or working in the newsroom for a lot of you other guys. So I'm on my home page, and I'm going to click on my class notebook. Remember the first thing we do every day is bell work. You're walking in, the bell's about to ring, we're doing bell work. So you go to your class notebook, it usually asks you to sign in. You just press sign in and if you're already signed into your school account, um, it'll pretty much just load once you press sign in. If not, enter your R2D2 at pcsd.org. So once you've clicked on class notebook, um, it usually will ask you to open or sign in really quickly. I just clicked through the sign in buttons. And this is pretty much what you'll see. You're seeing the teacher side, so you're seeing a little bit more than you would normally see, but um, this is generally what you're going to see. Uh, just let me explain really quickly that you're the top half of the tabs that you see up here are um, are what you would call like the teacher notebook. So I'm gonna fill up the screen so it's not distracting. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, or not. I think you guys online already know I'm super click happy. Why did you work immediately? Click away. Go. This may be the sign that I shouldn't be doing this at 8 30 in the morning. Okay, let's just expand this window and then we'll go. Okay, perfect. Um, so you're gonna see the um, this portion up top, and it's basically the teacher section. Think of this as like the whiteboard that we share with you. We um, you're on, a lot of you are online now, so we can't um, necessarily share the whiteboard in the same way. 
right? Normally there would be a, a smart board would be in front of you and we could change it. But um, since you can't see that, what we're doing is we're sharing our screen with you. So in years past and pretty much, yeah, forever, you would get a bell work and you would just copy it off the whiteboard. Now we're um, doing all digital. So we are doing this digital notebook. So, and you'll see that a new bell work is posted up top every day. Um, so you'll look for the day's date. I think I'm actually gonna remove the numbers because the bullet points in these, um, in this notebook for some reason are really weird. So look for that. But you'll always um, see a new bell work up top. If you don't, click refresh. Your refresh is the same, on, right? In the same position that on this browser than as I don't know, on mine. But click refresh. Everyone constantly raises their hand or calls out and says, it's not there. Just press refresh. <clears throat> Sometimes it does actually take more than once. I'm sorry you have to press refresh, but you have to press refresh. It's just kind of weird. So when you press refresh, hopefully if we post the bell work and we will, um, you'll see the date up, up top. This was September 10th. So um, everything underneath the date of September 10th, and I will be drawing lines for you guys, I apologize. Um, it, say it, today's September 10th, I know this is today's bell work, right? So I'm gonna take the bell work, I'm gonna copy it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just clicking and waiting for, to see a cursor. I know OneNote can be a little funky, um, if it's delayed or it's not allowing you to click in, um, I would just recommend refreshing and, and waiting. Patience is key. I'm going to click here until I see my cursor. Drag. So I'm clicking on holding, dragging to select all of this. Here's a big tip, and it's really important. I'm not even going to tell you to right click, okay? OneNote really only likes keyboard shortcuts for the most part. And what I mean by that is pressing a combination of keys on um, on your keyboard to accomplish something that you could do with a right click, essentially. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And it is a little bit different on a Mac than it is on a um, PC. So I will tell you that you're gonna hold down, first thing you're gonna do, and I'll provide little graphics for you, but the first thing that you need to do is hold down control. If you're on a Mac, you're holding down command. I think most of you are, are on um, PCs. So hold down control and then press the letter C. When you do that, you have copied everything that you've highlighted, right? I've seen kids do it and they kind of do it C first or they'll do it and they don't hold it down for long enough. So just do it for a good like second. First hold down control, it doesn't have to be multiple seconds. Just hold down control, then press C and you've probably got it, right? Then what you're gonna do is come down to your section. Rahi, I'm picking on you because you're, um, you're here. I should really do a test student, I think, actually. Add a test student? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, back to picking on Rahi. So um, I clicked on Rahi's name, or I clicked on my name. Pretend, I, I'm pretending this is my folder and I'm gonna click on this bell work section. You should already have a bell work section in there. Click on that. And your first section, we're still working on this, bell work 1.1. So I'm gonna do that. Click on 1.1. You guys are welcome to put it wherever makes the most sense for you. If you want to put it up top, great. If you wanna put it on the bottom, great. It's up to you. Um, we just, we, all we do is we're gonna make sure that you have all of them. So we know if we had 10 bell works and you only have nine that you didn't do them all, right? It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Sometimes you guys are late or um, sometimes you guys are absent. So it's okay, you just make up that bell work and then move on. Um, and that is an important note that if you're absent, you have to make up bell work. I'll put that in the next video. Mm -hmm, excuse me, uh, bell work, let's make up bell work. Absences. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my bell work. I'm pressing Command or Control 
and then I'm going to press V. And that pastes what I've just copied into um, this new area. I'm just going to tell you that if you try to right click and paste, usually one note pops up and says, don't do that, use the shortcuts. And I think most people just click out and they're like, oh, what's that? What error message? And they do it again. You guys have to be using the shortcuts. So make sure you're using the shortcuts. And I'm going to emphasize that in our other video too. So once you've copy and pasted the bell work, um, anything in yellow, first of all, just you need to read it because it's typically an activity. Sometimes it's some advice, um, but it's always something that you, there's always something you have to do. Whatever you have to do is always highlighted in yellow, right? So we've done our bell work, we've talked about it. We had so much class participation. Everyone, we're like, calm down guys, stop with all the excitement about this journalism. And then it's time for the mindful minute. Okay guys, so I was just pointing out to you that after our bell work, we go to the mindful minute. So you guys know what that is. It's when we take 60 seconds to kind of turn down the lights, take a break from our technology, and just sit and breathe. Um, you guys that are at home, um, I hope that it's something that you're trying because it's been really helpful to me. Um, and I'm just gonna show you, so you guys know what the mindful minute is, but I'm gonna just show you an online version um, that I made actually for you guys last year, but it was probably new to some of you guys. So if you're on your home page, um, there's two ways to access this. Tell me what you think of the second way. I just did it because I'm gonna find out if you'd like it. But you can come down to modules. Put a mindful minute right here. And um, if you go down to the bottom, there's a thing called useful resources. You can click on mindful minute, and there's our mindful minute video. Um, it's just the same thing we do, except with some birds. I shot this actually like right out there. Um, so, you know, just like it. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't need to instruct you how to have a mindful minute, but if you ever want to use this, it's totally up to you. I am going to just watch the first few seconds of it. Drink some kombucha. Wish I would just take 60 seconds to myself during a video. Yes. You guys should be um, definitely taking advantage of that. I hope that that's something that you're trying to do. I'll do it in between every class. You have 10 minutes between your classes. Um, another thing, really quick thing I could point out too is there's also the bell schedule down there. I think you guys know it by now, but I did put a copy of it on here for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, second way, I think maybe you could probably just make a link over here if that would be useful to you guys. Um, I also just did this like a second ago just to see how you guys would feel about it. But what do you think about it on the front page? Let me know. Um, I don't know if that's too much on the front page. But anywho, we'll talk about that later. So after a mindful minute, just go ahead and click back to your class notebook. Um, a lot of you guys, sometimes we call on you online, you'll say, oops, I accidentally um, closed, closed it out or I closed it out already. Don't close it out. At this point, you guys should know the first, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes of class, we're going to be using that notebook, so go ahead and keep it open, okay? Um, and we'll talk about class participation in another video. Um, um, I came back from my mindful minute, and so now it's time for the newspaper reading log. If you click on newspaper reading log, now I'm in my teacher section. 
So the first thing you need to do when you're starting a new newspaper reading log, say you filled up the whole reading log, or I'm viewing it for the first time, you're gonna click on the teacher's version, which is up here, of the newspaper reading log. You'll see that it says reading log template, which just basically means it's like a worksheet. In years past, you had a piece of paper, now you have a digital notebook, same thing. Again, I'm gonna encourage you to use the shortcuts because it's just gonna be easier. One of my favorite actually is if you just click in here and you press Control or Command on a Mac, but Control, holding that down first and then press A, it'll highlight, it should highlight everything. Of course, just now it highlighted, um, gosh, I'm just gonna turn the recording, right? The recording, right? Okay. Of course, just now it highlighted just one line, but if I just press Control A again, or a couple times, I guess, depends. Like I said, OneNote is a little, I don't know, funky sometimes. But now I've got it all, which is much easier than doing it manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Control C, and now I've copied it. And again, I'm gonna come down to my name, pretending this is my notebook that says Miss Shiver, guys. Um, and I'm gonna click on newspaper reading, right? We've just actually filled the first one out. So um, you, if you ever need to start a new one or you're starting your first one, um, it'll automatically just generate a page for you. Um, it'll be a blank page and I'll show you actually what that looks like. So I'm pretending like these reading logs aren't here and say I'm doing my first reading log or making a new one because I need to. I'm gonna come down here, press, ooh, not that, plus page. And then, like I said, it'll just give you an untitled page. Whether you're doing this for the first time or the third time, it's just gonna give you an untitled page. Go ahead and click down in the body. This is like the title, so don't click there yet. Click down here, and you're gonna press Command and V. Um, now it's pasted, Command and V. It's a victory, because P is for print. Um, so now I've got this blank reading log. First thing I wanna do is title it a reading log number. Reading log three. I got you prepared, Rahi, sorry. <laughs> but now it's reading log three. Um, so uh, in now I'm gonna just talk to you about how to do your reading log. Um, every day we dedicate 15 minutes to reading the newspaper. So we don't have the physical paper at home, you may not, no worries, we have the digital version. Go ahead and just click on this link, which is part of what you copy and pasted. I'm just gonna click, click on that. Um, when I click on that, it's going to open a site that looks like this if you have not logged in before. Um, if you have logged in before, it might just, you know, remember the info and you jump right into the paper. Log in here. I know it's kind of hidden. I think there's a lot going on on this page. But if you click log in here, that's where you're going to log in. Now, um, if you don't know the info, just memorizing it, um, just click back to your notebook and it's right here. These are your instructions. One, two, three, four. I've already done the first half. My username is Tobin and the password is news. So I'm going to Tobin and WS. Feel free to save that, guys, if your uh, browser asks you. Uh, yeah, save that. And here I am at my digital paper. Um, there's different ways to navigate around this. You can flip here, like their pages. There are jumps. Ooh, the Gillum story. Ooh, I want to read that. Um, you got to flip through by pages. Um, and there's different sections, right? You can use this to navigate, um, or you can just flip through pages. I like flipping through pages. Um, so just, I'm gonna click back and kind of explain a little bit about exactly how you fill out your reading log. So every day we read for 15 minutes. We're gonna put the timer on, we read silently for 15 minutes. Um, you have to choose an article that interests you and write about it. There are four different entries um, on every log. Doesn't mean you have to read four articles a day, you just need to read one. Um, however, you have to read from each section um, at least once per reading log. So the first one says, today in the A section, I read about. If I click back here, my A section is going to be the front section. You can actually notice that in two ways. A, right here on the right, A News. And in the corner, you'll see the A section, right? I'll say A1. It's the very first page of the A section. The paper has changed a bit, um, even in the past year. So, 
Um, choose a story there. It's going to be usually uh, big, uh, sometimes it's big state news on there, but it's usually na national and world news, just the biggest story out there. Um, so you have that for the A section. Local section, um, it used to be its own section. It doesn't have a jump, but it's usually on A3. Again, I'm pointing out these page numbers to you. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Not A2, but A3. And then you can see it's got this huge um, local and state heading. So that's kind of how you know. Even if you just flip the page, you'll eventually get to your section. Um, this is just a navigation pane. Pain. Um, I prefer to actually just look at the paper like it's paper. So if you click on it, ooh, I should go back to that so you can see. Um, but if you click on the paper like I just did, silly. Um, oh. No. Okay, sorry, that's called your index. If you click on the paper like I just did, um, rather than having this window open, um, well, if you have this window open, you can click once and it'll kind of pull it up in a little bit more of a um, non newspaper y format, I guess is how I'm going to call it. I'm just going to close that out because I don't want to look at the paper. So um, if you do close it out, it opens it and you can do double pages. If you're interested in a story in particular, you can click on it um, and it's gonna bring you in closer, right? And I think you can even get in closer using these. So just so you know, is this cute kid? Okay, anyways, not gonna talk about news right now. Oh, it's tempting. That So that's where you can find the locals and state. I'm getting so distracted. Um, next thing is sports. Y'all know what sports is. There's a jump in the index if you need to go to sports. It's called the C section as well. Um, you can also just figure that out by flipping through here. So there's two arrows here. Um, one would just flip a page and the other will flip to sections. So if I'm really at the front, I think I just press this once and I get to the sports. And lastly, the opinion section. The opinion section, I will just have to admit to you, it's buried. It's always, it's getting harder and harder to find nowadays, but it is in the A section. So if you just go to the front, it said 12A, so that's actually a lot. Um, if you go to the front, I think the easiest way to find it is just click on index and click on opinion and you'll see it. But again, um, you can always just flip, flip, flip through every page. You would have to flip through 12 pages for this though. And then I can double click if I want to read. Close this out. Ooh, I didn't realize I did that. But anyways, just so you know, another fun fact is when you do an opinion piece, um, you have to include who wrote the piece. You don't have to do that for your other stories, but for these ones you do. Um, so a couple of things. One, when you read something that says, you see that there is no person's name on it, it's probably an editorial. You can see right here it says a Times editorial. What that means is the staff got together, they decided that this was an issue that they wanted to um, talk about in the opinion section, and they said, um, and they kind of agreed on their, their views with it and said, okay, this is our important opinion piece, it'll be our editorial on behalf of the newspaper, this story represents us, and someone writes it. They don't put their byline on it. And then along the side, you'll see um, something called your letters. Uh, that's people who write in, they're called letters to the editor. They wrote in because maybe sometimes they're a response to an article that they read the day before. Sometimes they are um, just opinions on current news events, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so they have names and you can see them right at the bottom, those letters to the editor. And then lastly is a column. A column is by a person um, who's on staff typically or just like a member of the um, Associated Press sometimes. But um, you know it's a column because you're going to see a person's face typically and a name. So, and it's also on the opinion section. It's really, really important. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted, but it's really, really important to um, understand the difference between opinion and news. This is opinion. It means it's what somebody thinks and it may be different than what you think. It may be the same, um, but this class is all about, um, you know, doing that, sharing your opinions, having opinions, but being respectful. Okay, so once you've um, cho chosen your section, uh, you can do, so I say I've read the story. What I'm gonna do is going to summarize it with the five W's, meaning who, what, when, where, and sometimes why. 
Sometimes there isn't a why. Um, if you're not getting all of that, you are not getting probably the grade you want. We grade you on the W's, so make sure you're doing that. And then at the bottom, you're gonna just say if you liked or disliked the article. So <clears throat> an example, here's a bad example. I liked the article, be <laughs> I liked the article because it was cool. I need more than that. I liked the article because it was cool and I love marine life and I think that whales should be protected by law, right? Um, another example, I disliked it. I disliked it because um, it was boring. I disliked it because it was um, offensive to me that our political figure would do this um, at this time or something like that, okay? So think about that. Once you have done, um, so how are you gonna complete your um, <clears throat> log is just do those, fill out those two things. You do it for one section. You can do um, sport, you can do it in any order. I can do sports first and then I can do um, I don't know, the local section next, whatever order you want. But once you've done it once, you can't do it again. So I couldn't just go sports, 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 sports. Okay. I have got to stop talking. It is now, okay, I'm not even gonna tell you what time it is, but it, I've spent long enough of my, sat enough of my Saturday morning on this. I hope you guys are still asleep, seriously. I'm gonna edit this video and post it for you and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, um, please contact myself or Miss Tobin. The best way to do that really is email or via Canvas. Um, you know, there's a little email section in, in Canvas that you can just um, send us a message. So I hope this helps. Um, let me know uh, of your thoughts or concerns or anything I can make clearer to you guys. Um, and that's it.